Hi there, this is Buffy. And um, I'm also talking about uh, movies reviews. And about, please watch all the other movies I've, I post on YouTube. And I appreciate any of them you have seen. Thank you very much. So, tonight I'm going to be talking about the movie called The uh, Maze Runner, The Scorch uh, Trails. Uh, and I'm going to give you my review of that movie to give you some you know, uh, hints and ideas that may help you that I can give you. Other than, uh, 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 you know, the guys um, that I've seen in their uh, review, and I thought, okay, I'm going to go see it because I just figure I, I, I need to see for myself what you're seeing and I can do to watch it and then maybe come back and do the same thing for you guys. So I've been inspired by them to do movie reviews. It's just as much as they have. And I just, I thought, hey, you know, if they can do it, I can do it too. <laughs> so the movie, uh, The Maze Runner, um, yeah, uh, an amazing runner. Yeah, uh, yeah. a scorch. Yeah, I always the understanding. Okay, uh, the scorch represent meaning that the end of the world. Or I've seen movies that's got the scorch. You know, in a sci-fi ish kind of movie. It is PG thirteen. Just get that in mind. Um, there's some little plot. And uh, um, I mean, really, there's wasn't much of a plot to the story. It's just like, okay, I'm gonna get out and I'm gonna be scared. Uh, of what they're going to do to me, and I need to get out of here ASAP now, and then go off to somewhere else, and then, um, seeing some things that came at you, I kind of felt like I was watching a little bit of parts of that thing, it was like, if, you, if these people touch you, they were kind of like, you know, and you get affected by them, and, and I'm going, okay, that kind of reminds me of the movie called The Cat Fever! Oh, gosh, that's scary. I already seen that movie, and I just thought, it kind of brought me back to that movie, and just thinking, oh, The Cabin Fever! You know, and if you get touched by one of these, uh, whatever, a virus that they, uh, is killed, uh, is not incurable, and it kills you, Rob, and it takes you right, you know, arms cut off, and whatever, I was like, hmm, okay, I got you. So, we are not going to touch those kind of uh, scary people, so we're just going to kind of run, 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 and wait for them. And I think, I don't know what they're getting this idea about the runner, you know, okay, they're all running, but where's the maze? Uh, I didn't get that. I, I, I really, you know, I won. Hmm, okay, I got it. I get it. it they, these, all these people are getting out. And they're finally fighting for themselves. They're going to stay out of this, whatever is, uh, this kind of like a building that they're being sucked in, these kids, and they're running away uh, from them, and then they're trying to bring them right back into it. I was like, I don't think so. <laughs> after what they've seen, I don't, I don't blame it after all. I mean, so... I, I, I would say this movie is more of an a editing effect rather than visual. I mean, you can see some things that are visual, but mostly it's more editing effect. That, you know, there's like, okay, I think I got it pretty pr predicted what you're going to be doing next scene, or it's somewhat predictable because I can sit there and go, okay, I know what they're going to do. And, and it's going to be predictable. The way they're going to do is they're going to take themselves in and they're going to hang a rope in there and they're going to go over here and trying to, you know, you know, rescue the day for someone's going to come right at them and, uh, uh, and they're handling the set in distress and they need some help. And so, I mean, it's more, as some parts of it is kind of predictable. You, whatever particular scene they're doing, you kind of got an idea. Okay, well, that's going to be, easy. they're going to break out of that little distance and then they're going to go, oh, gotcha. But I, I really, I, I can understand the, the movie of the name of the title, but it, I wasn't sure if it matches what they're trying to tell you in the plot story. It is a good movie. I've seen it once. I mean, I will, of course, I will definitely order, uh, uh, um, have it in my DVD collection. It's something I'll watch again probably a few times. But um, it, it's one of those things that I kind of, I think I was lost in the story rather than, you know, uh, okay, I got the uh, plot. I kind of felt like a little lost in some areas that they kind of could have filled in some gaps that they, that they could have given you in the story that you needed rather than, uh, uh, you know, you, these people are running away from here. And that, so basically what I'm getting at, watching the guys, you know, review, uh, you know, I'm going to give them the first name only, Jeremy and Chris, and they did an excellent job describing the movie. And I was like, you know, I give them a heads up, for, uh, hands up, for them. yay, thumbs up for them. I just like, yeah. I, I, I went and saw it myself, and I had to come back and went, uh-huh, yep. Those guys were right. I mean, this movie is totally what they thought it was, and what they thought it was. It, I was like, hmm, yep. I, 
you know, as a female point of view of reviewing this, I think I kind of thought I was more agreeing with the, the these two guys and how they were discussing about this movie. I was like, yep, gotcha. You're right. I went and had to go see it myself. I mean, I had to see it for myself just to see what they're talking about. And totally, I have to give them two thumbs up because they were great. But I also have to say, the movie was practically in mm, B or C. You know, um, ratings. But I mean, uh, you know, uh, yeah, I mean, I give A plus for the actor. and actress doing a great job for the movie. But the story, a B or C. You know, it needs some, you know, some uh, thing. But also, I know that it's got a, uh, I can't tell you, it's got a cliffhanger. So obviously, you know, there's going to be a part two. So we'll have to keep our eyes open for that. But they're going to have it at the ending, how it kind of finish it off. I'm not going to give it away, all the details, but I go on, yeah, I'm going to have another one coming out. I just feel it. The way they ended the story, I was like, are you serious? Are you serious? Going to end that story like that? Okay. We're not going to see the next scene when that's going to happen? Nope. They're going to cut it off and go hmm. Well, the next one we gotta wait for, and it comes out on theater, and I'm sure probably in the next couple of years. So, I'm looking forward to seeing the next one to finish up my story, and probably gonna be the same rating and the same review. So I'm gonna give it for the next one when it comes out. So I can get an idea. That we're looking for another one coming out. So I hope my review helps you, and I hope that my suggestion is as good as I can give you. I am not, uh, uh, I don't have the, all the good effects and dig, uh, editing like, uh, by, uh, these two guys that does a good job on, on their editing, uh, uh, on their review, and I figure, hmm, I'm gonna do my own. And, of course, I, uh, I love any comments, uh, su subscribe to me, please, uh, it would be greatly appreciated. You can click that right down there, you can see comment, and you can see subscribe, please, follow, uh, do that, and... Also, you can find me on Instagram, YouTube, and, of course, Facebook, and, of course, here on YouTube. And I would love to hear from your feedbacks, and hopefully my suggestion will help you as much as, that, as these two guys has helped me. So I'm passing it on from them to, you, to me, and I'm a little bit, you know, not right up to date because our theater, you know, we have things come out a little bit. Yeah, our uh, town's small, so yeah, we kind of have to wait a little bit. So, I will um, hope that my suggestion and hopeful uh, review will give you some ideas. The Maze Runner of, you know, the Scorch Trails and it's PG-13. I hope it helps you. Thank you all and have a blessed evening. Thank you. Bye-bye.